touch any of that gear. Locked onto a Stano pipe. Stopping the Hampshire wood chip mill, which is the largest wood chip mill in the southern hemisphere. in this country are under threat in a variety of ways and one of the fundamental human rights is freedom of speech. It's fundamental because if you can't speak freely you can't change governments. If you can't speak freely you can't change government policies. If you can't speak freely you do not have a real democracy. It's caused many uh, members of uh, my community in the Huon including myself and my family, uh, a lot of stress to deal with this case. Quite often the reason for big companies suing individual activists is not in fact to be successful in their claim but rather to tie the activists up in a long and emotionally taxing battle. My having developed um, bowel cancer I think um, one of the major factors, um, I believe, in contributing to that was stress. Um, and that's just, I would say, it's the stress of, of four years of um, fighting what seems to be, in anyone's um, view, probably an unwinnable fight, um, and which it is. And that it's all about, this is all about the, the small, the small person trying to stand up against what is a billion dollar um, industry. It will cost a fortune in legal fees which far outweigh any of the damages that guns claim to have suffered. So it's a classic abuse of the legal system. I'd like to see us follow the um, example of America and bring in some anti-slap suit laws. I don't think that we should be living in a country where we allow bullies with a lot of money to beat up other people, other Australians, for just saying what they reckon. They hope to shut us up, they haven't, so take us out of the equation and keep attacking the people who are, who are most vulnerable and least able to defend themselves. As I said, it's a very cowardly process that's underway here. For us, it's still an unknown situation. Uh, we don't know people who have been sued before. We don't know how much money it's going to cost us. Um, you know, what does it mean for us as a young family if we do have to go bankrupt? What we're up against is a company that has already spent three million dollars to date, has hired some of the most expensive lawyers in the country. Lucaston is a beautiful place and it is a beautiful place because the community stood up against guns and stood up against the bullying, the thuggery and we won. The chainsaws, the bulldozers, the log trucks are no longer in our valley. And the irony is that even though we won, the community still faces this threat of the lawsuit.